The Dominican Republic shares a small island with Haiti and has a population of 9 million people, most of whom live near the border of Haiti. One quarter of the population lives below the poverty level, and in some of the poorest areas, household incomes average between $35 and $80 a month. There are no dentists or basic dental care in these areas, which causes dental disease to affect children by altering their development, school performance, and behavior. On March 19th, the Cheerful Heart Dental Mission, led by nursing professor Janet Tracy of the William Patterson University Nursing Department, will depart for a five-day dental clinic in the Dominican Republic. Here with us today is WP professor Janet Tracy. Welcome to News Now. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So this is a remarkable thing that you're doing. Can you just give us a brief overview of the program? Well, um, we're going to fly into Santiago and we'll be driving about four hours on some fairly small roads into some dirt country right on the border of Haiti where we're going to set up a temporary dental clinic for four days and treat and educate the people there in the community. Now, how did this program get started? Uh, some of us were touring in 2007 with a World Vision project um, that was sponsoring a water pipeline and we stopped at some of the healthcare areas and one was this little hospital in Restoration and they looked like they could use everything for equipment and we asked what could we do to help? We thought maybe we could um, have a, a machinery or provide something for them and they said bring us a dentist. So for four years we worked on trying to bring them a dentist. And you finally succeeded. And we finally <laughs> succeeded. Last year we went for the first time so this is our second trip. Now, I understand that William Patterson nursing students, as well as dental medical personnel from UMDMJ, will make up the team. How many people in total are involved? There will be 15 of us. Um, I'm taking two senior students this year from the nursing department and an alumni from last year's graduating class. And there will be three um, dental students from UMD with their professor and an internal medicine physician from Morristown and an electrician and a few other support people. So 15 from the U.S. And how many people can you expect to help? We're, our goal is 400 this year. What was the goal last year? Well, we didn't have a goal since it was our first mm -hmm. year, but we served 287 last year. Oh, wow. So we think we really can get organized enough to see 400 on this trip. Now, can you give us some details on what will happen when patients come to the clinic? Well, um, it's not going to look like a dental clinic here. We have temporary chairs, there is no running water, and we have intermittent generator for electricity. So it will look very different, but the kids, we like to get them comfortable in the chair, speak to them in their language, and give them a beanie baby or a baseball to hold. And that is kind of a comfort measure. And then we get them to open their mouth and we will see what we have to deal with. We'll triage them. They'll either be cleaning and fluoride treatments or there may be some extractions or there may be some fillings and restorations of what they have. Now how can the community help support this program? Well, we've had a lot of help already. It's great. Mm -hmm. The Student Nurses Association on campus has donated some things, as well as the Nursing Honor Society. Um, we've had dentists in the area provide toothbrushes and toothpaste, and we even had a drug company give us some medications that we can use. So um, we're, our bags are pretty full. We're leaving mm -hmm. on Monday. And so as far as equipment, I think we're pretty well set. However, we need funding if anybody would like to donate financially. We actually bring busloads of kids over the Haitian border into the Dominican Republic. And so we need buses, we need gas for the generators that we're bringing with us. And um, they could contact me at tracyj at williampatterson.edu, my email address, and I could give them further details. Well, that's another example of some of the excellent programs of civic engagement in which our faculty, staff, and students are involved. If you need more information, please contact the nursing office at 973-720-2673. Thanks for joining us today, Professor Tracy, and best of luck on your trip to the Thanks. Dominican Republic. Thank you so much.